Mega Mania is running wild. Yo, 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 it's the Watches Review Show. Last Wednesday, I bought a whole bunch of games. What happened Thursday? Mega Man 10. In case you didn't know, the reviewster is a Mega Maniac, and he's really been enjoying Mega Man 10. Oh, yeah, can you feel it, my brothers? Mega Man 10 is just a game so awesome, you kind of have to talk about it. Now, unfortunately, some of my people on the 360 haven't had a chance to play this awesome game yet because it has a scaled release. It came out March 1st for the Wii, March 11th for the PS3, and now it's going to be March 31st for the 360. I was almost tempted to get for the Wii, but the PS3 has trophy and PS Home support in the form of, like, shirts that you can unlock. But, I mean, I don't really use PS Home, but... I figure if I ever do, I would be wearing a Proto Man Mega Man t-shirt, probably. Now why exactly is Mega Man 10 so damn cool? Now last year, actually two years ago, we got Mega Man 9, which although was a great throwback to like the earlier titles and stuff, it was kind of like a bare bones, like normal Mega Man release. Mega Man 10, on the other hand, has three difficulty levels, and it has incredibly awesome difficulty. This is the way all games should handle difficulty. For example, if you choose to go easy mode, it show your character will get like little platforms here and there to help you get past obstacles and then you have fewer enemies. If you go normal mode, obviously no platforms, and then you have um, a bit more enemies, enemies will hurt you a bit more, and then of course the bosses have one additional attack, and just a different IA logic. Now if you go hard, it's hilarious. You don't unlock hard until after you complete the normal mode. I mean, it's not too hard to complete normal, but hard is just such a trip. They've redone, like, some of the levels in the sense that, like, you'd be going along the top, you're going for a power-up. Instead of, like, a power-up at the end of this one segment, you have another enemy. I mean, it just, like, completely tosses things on the tail, and then even the levels are, like, tweaked and reworked in places. Like, some areas are a little bit tighter than others. Like, you once had, like, these flame things that would jump up from here to here. Instead of having this much space, it looks like you have, like, this much space. And then I could swear that, like, I was able to stand top of the trucks in, like, this one part. And then I couldn't. You'd have to, like, stand up near the hood and this other thing. But it's some just ingeniously sick stuff. Plus, you have a full challenge mode as opposed to the other one where you had, like, kind of in-game accomplishments. That uh, looks like there are about 88 challenges, including just three difficulties for some of the bosses and some really fun um, platforming things. I think I've done about 70% of them, because you get um, a silver if you complete some objectives on the combat ones, the gold if you're unhurt, and then the gold for unhurt and only using the Mega Buster if you're doing the hard challenges. Granted, the character designs for the Robot Masters this one don't look as cool in previous ones, but the levels are just quite a bit more challenging, even if they don't necessarily look as nice. But the last Mega Man 9's levels were just so quick. I mean, it seems like you barely load the screen when you've already passed the entire thing. You're already up to the boss, which annoyed me a bit. But the um, these levels are definitely a bit longer, a bit more challenging, especially when you go into hard mode. And the, um, you go from having like normal blocks of puzzles appear for the easy and then a little bit faster and normal, then you get entirely different disadvantaging block pattern for hard. So it's like all those little things which toss in a little bit extra replay for the modes. The other big thing is Proto Man's actually included as a playable character by default, and they have improved him quite a bit. I mean, previously he had this huge knockback, so basically if you got hit by anything, which was more than likely, you'd be sent back a considerable amount, usually to your death, into a pit or spikes or whatever, but less of a knockback. His shield's a little bit larger, so it actually does something this time around. Last time it was like this little tiny shield, and it could block attacks, but they'd have to be in a very narrow radius, and, you know, that wasn't very cool. Then, of course, I think he might actually take a little bit less damage than it to usually takes, but he t does get hurt more than Mega Man when he gets hit. Also, we are having Bass come out as DLC. I'm not, don't really feel too strongly about that because I'm not a Bass fan, but presumably he can 
he has his rapid fire and his usual dash and everything and you know some people are into that I'm not especially because usually he has to stop when he's using his rapid fire Proto Man has the usual charge and slide. Mega Man, of course, in this game does not. He just has the default run and gun. He can shoot three projectiles onto the screen at a time, whereas Proto Man can only fire off two projectiles at a time. Or I can't remember if he can do a charge shot and then two projectiles directly after it, or he has to wait until the charge shot resolves, but... I don't know. On the whole, I am super impressed with Mega Man 10, and, you know... It's definitely kind of a step up from Mega Man 9, even if some people feel that the a lot of the flavor is, isn't really as much there as in the previous game, because everything seemed to really, really sink on a thematic level, except for the fact that the Robot Masters, you're just like, get a weapon, you're trying to figure out, what the hell does this weapon do? Like, what the heck is this boss weak against? And usually it's like they're weak in something that didn't even really make sense. Whereas this one, if you look at previous Mega Mans, it makes sense. Plus the whole element table where electricity beats water, beats fire, obviously. So yeah, totally impressed with this. Um, you feel like and if you're a Mega Man fan, I probably would recommend this. And if you're not a Mega Man fan, why aren't you? So yeah, um... And if you've already played this, you know, feel free to respond to this video with a response. But, um, until next time, folks.